For What Is Worth by Buffalo Springfield was recorded in 1966 and it was a song written by Stephen Stills. Good boy, hell. I've always assumed that it was an anti-war song. It turns out Stills was inspired to write the song because of a series of riots in the middle of 1966 between the police and young people because a curfew that was imposed to stop loitering in Hollywood. Thousands of demonstrators had turned up. I'm gonna clean up and I'm gonna listen to the song at the same time, so let's have a listen. I've always been really fond of this song. I think it's a really great tune. But because of the era that this song was released in, it makes perfect sense that people would think it was about the Vietnam War. But either way, it's a great song. I mean, I think that song's amazing. I really like the fact there's just not much going on in this song. I mean, essentially it's just a few chords, but I like the interplay between the guitars. So let's have a look at what's going on. The song is essentially just a few chords, so let's go through what's going on. The song's just using three of the main chords that you learn when you first pick up the guitar. So it's using an E major chord, an A major chord, and a D major chord. In the verse, we're just using the E major chord and the A major chord, so. The acoustic guitar's got this riff going on, this repetitive thing that's just going over and over again. So it starts with an E power chord, which is just the open E string and the second fret of the A string. Um, you might get the uh, second fret of the D string as well. But then it's doing this slide on the A string from 2 to 4, then going to the 2nd fret of the D string, then back to the 4th fret on the A string, and then goes to the A power chord, which is just the same kind of thing as before, but this time it's the open A string, and the 2nd fret D string, and maybe the 2nd fret G string as well. Then we've got the bit that everyone seems to be really drawn to that captures the ear, which is these harmonics. So if you haven't done harmonics before, basically we're going to be playing the 12th fret of the high E string, but we're going to be playing rather than behind the fret like we normally are, this time we're going to be playing it over the fret wire of the 12th fret, right over the wire. You do not press down, you just rest your finger on top of it. So you don't press down like this, because you're just going to get a buzzy sound. You actually just rest your finger on with no pressure, no pressing down at all. You pick the string, and then you release the pressure off the string, you release the finger away from the string, which opens up the sound and lets it ring out. And then we've got a similar thing now on the fifth fret, so the fifth fret, but this time on the B string. And it's the same thing, so you're not behind the fret like you normally are when you fret a note, you're actually over the fret wire. Um, you don't press down, you just rest your finger on top, and as soon as you've picked the note, and you release the, uh, you take the finger off so the, um, so the harmonic can ring out more. And they do those on the off beats, so it's kind of like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And in the chorus, they're just going to use all three of the chords that we mentioned. So it's going to go from an E chord to a D chord to the A chord. Now, I think what they might do here is then go to an A7 chord. So I'm going to take off this um, middle finger, so it's going to have the G string open. It's such a simple song in essence, I mean it's just three chords, just a riff and some harmonics but everything just works and blends so seamlessly together and I think that is the mark of a truly great song. But again, these are just my opinions, you're entitled to your own opinions so let me know what you think in the comment section below, let me know if there's any songs you want to see me cover in this series, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time guys.